Good morning. Here is a comment I saw on Euclandia. And I figured I would answer the question for my subscribers and friends in the best way that I can. Can anyone point to me? me to specific resources that explain the relationship between notes and pitches and the arrangements of notes together and how to make a melody with notes. For example, is melody the arrangement of notes together? I gave him my answer, but I haven't gotten a response yet and may never because I'm untaught, untutored, and old guy, <laughs> I guess. But the fact is, I know how to make songs. I know how to make melodies, and I know how to write songs, and I'm pretty good at that. That is one thing that I have no doubt whatsoever about. And the way that I learned how to make melodies is I purchased this book and there are many similar books by Hal Leonard and possibly other people but this is an amazing one I probably got eight copies of this book and what I did was I learned how to play notes on the keyboard with the right hand I played notes with the keyboard on the right hand. Now you have to learn all 88 keys on the keyboard. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all up and down the keyboard, which will take about 20 minutes. Or maybe less than that if you're smart. I mean, if you're really quick, you can learn all the notes in the keyboard in five minutes. And if you're about 10 years old in advance, you can learn it in three minutes. And you can play the keyboard with the right hand notes. You'll also have to learn, well, you won't have to learn because it tells you, if you have one of these big note things here, it tells you which notes to actually press and how long to press them. This is a shorter note. This is a long note. So what you do is you get this book. has many simple but cool songs on. And this is the very first one in the book. How cool is that? And learn how to play the songs with your right hand. How long does it take to, to learn a simple song like Mary Had a Little Lamb or London Bridge? Just playing your right hand, not long at all. The notes are right here. You play them once, you play them twice, you keep playing them until you can, can get up to speed. Those are your melody. That's your melody notes. And if you want, you can do little things with your left hand to, to add to that. I have some little secret techniques that I do with the left hand. You can just play chords, which is what I do, but I, I have a kind of a finger-picking method of playing chords. There's a very cool video I saw that came out the other day about how each of the Beatles played piano, and each one of them did it differently. And all of them apparently played piano very simply. But it works. I play it simply, and it works for me. So I play, I learned how to play a lot of songs with the uh, right hand playing melody, left hand doing my little finger picking stuff. Now I can play the piano. I can play it all day long. I love to play piano, uh, a digital piano or a music keyboard. It has a million different sounds it can make. So basically, this is how I learned 
the relationship between notes and pitches and the arrangements of notes together without having to study. You can't study this stuff, I don't think, unless you're a student, which I never was. <laughs> a, a very good one, that is. Anyway, you can learn how to write songs that way. And I have written many, and I think that all of my songs, most of them, have really memorable and cool melodies. And I'm just going to give you an example of one. It's a simple song. It's called Baby, I Love It. Baby, I love it, love it, love it. Ooh, I love it. Baby, I do. Baby, I do. That is a melody, that is a song, and I'm happy to have written that simple song and a hundred other ones. So there, I hope this will help somebody get yourself a piano keyboard. It's not quite as easy playing notes. It's certainly not as easy playing individual notes on a ukulele. It might be a very useful thing to do, and I've done that occasionally, but it's easier for me to do this kind of stuff on keyboard first and then take it to the ukulele. Thanks for watching.